I would have put it in the other. No, wizard. Wizard oh, Sakani. That's who imported them. What was your other question? Uh, does she remember where this place used to be? Because I don't. The twins. Either. Oh, this used to be in the twins. Okay. I mean, yeah, th is. these jobs would still. Yeah, these jobs would still make sense to be here. I was also just saying, back. like, did it. Yeah. Like Tarzan. <laughs> you came back. I came home. I came home. Mouth yeah. cracks open and a centipede on his face. That would be an interesting Tarzan twist. Yeah. Eldridge Abomination, Gorilla Tarzan, let's go. Um, the main thing, before we take off with uh, Miss Slug, I, I do kind of want to check if, like, her presence is, like, damaging the boot or if it's, like, seeping through the boot on into her skin. Um, are you, do you have leather workers tools? I super do not. <laughs> is there any, like, yeah. I mean, you're not feeling anything right now when you pull off your glove or boot or something. There's nothing happening. Okay. Maybe, uh, are you concerned about your boot, Ariana? I'm more concerned about ending up like your compatriots. Uh, maybe you could find, like, a lid to one of those pots or pans that Hafren could ride on. Oh, that's not a terrible idea. <laughs> we just put them in a pot. And then, not not the and one that came walking sell, through. You put you sell out half for it. <laughs> Here we got a live one. It looks smart. Is that extra? No. Um, Maybe. I mean, I would, yeah. Oh, this one can scream on the way down. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Um, Keenan, could you grab me one of the pot, like a small pot with a lid or something, and maybe some rope or twine. So we can hold the pieces together. Let's right, see what I can find. Pots, pans, cauldrons, glass, mason jars, you name it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to make something that yeah, we can like, find, like hitch a... onto her belt so she doesn't have to hold on to this like slug jar in the middle of a fight. You will have a pot at your belt, if, or a pot lid at your belt. And I, <laughs> I play PUBG, it might save you from like a bullet apparently, but uh, it definitely won't be quiet. <laughs> so just, right. just be aware of that. That's might be caught out. See if I can find something like maybe a, a glass jar with like a cloth lid or something like that. I mean, like there's glass jar. jars. Uh, yeah, mason jars. Mason jar. Yeah, I'll bring. I'll see if I'll bring over a mason jar. See if if it's big enough. Uh, you ever see like a big kimchi jar? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. There's one like that. Fermented. It definitely would have been used for like a fermenting food. So. I think I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah, I'll bring that over. Uh, would this be uh, adequate for your needs, uh, half -rain? Yes. Thank you. Thumbs up to him and the it slug. It slithers in. Half in the slug. Nice. Congratulations, we've acquired a NPC. The slug. Her name is half -rain. she's a fucking slug. <laughs> I feel so what weird a weird thing to say, things. huh? Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> yeah, yo, you didn't have to yeah, do a voice for it. Note. Easy. Yeah. 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 But I'm, I'm gonna head off to bed, though, guys, because it's almost midnight. How dare you? Midnight. I know. Oh, okay. I know. Just disgusting. Uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. Before you go, next week normal start or late start? Points uh, gone. Normal start. Uh, also, do you have a few minutes to talk about something? I from yeah, I, I saw the message earlier. Yeah. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. What? what? So, what do you want? So. Your uh, Anushka's ability to change the damage type for weapons. Mm -hmm. How do you envision her doing that? Um, I think more mechanical. I've always kind of thought. Well, the idea I had, you know, uh, did you guys ever watch Ruby? Yes. Yeah, yeah. you know how they got that kind of magical kind of way they'd sort of move their weapons around, kind of thing. I kind of had like. You know, oh, that the, mechanical uh, sort of idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Rather than like a, you know, like it's not being, sorry, I'm not making much sense. But, um, oh, like it's got magical components, but it's a mechanical thing that's actually like propelling it, if that makes sense. Right. At least that's the image I had in my head. <laughs> I 
feel like that. Yeah, there kind of has to be some magical aspect to it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So it's like that's kind of like the fuel sort of idea, and then you've got the the bit that she's made to have it work. Yeah. Almost sounds like magic tech. Oh my does. god. It does. Now, if that's the case, then I'll green light it, Alec. You are free to convert numbers of your damage. And this goes to you as well. Well, I actually, yeah. Is Anushka's ability the ability to give to one person or one and herself? For the damage, well, the damage thing she's got anyway, but it's like she can do it during a. Uh, was it a long rest? I think she can do it to somebody. She's basically just like. Whisper around, that's true, sure. Rating shit on her thing. Where is it? Is it I don't know, sure. No. Shadow Touch? No. No. Sharp shit? No. <sighs> did I not write it down? No, I should have. I would imagine you did. Yeah, I definitely did. Is it. Um, we could check the chat log later. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely I'll, like I'll she could do. Time. What do I you don't remember? Think I don't remember if there's a limit put on how many people she could do it to, but I imagine it'd be one person per long rest. I, I'm very confident there is a limit, because there's no way you're playing this ever. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit silly otherwise. In terms uh, of the VOD, I believe the first time it came up was when Sajar was in the bathtub in Duvros. Because <laughs> I remember that. that's the first time Kirsten. Yeah, that that's true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she did it to Redain Spear. Mm hmm. Yeah. So. I'm going to operate on the assumption that you could do it to one person and yourself for the time being. Yeah, yeah. That sounds. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Okay. We'll double check it later. Alright. Now go to fuck to sleep. Or I'm else. Not. I'll kill you. Right. Thank Goodbye. you, Kirsty. Oh, here you go. It's, in, under, it's under Tinker's Tools. Tinker with an allies weapon and change the damage type once per short rest. Uh, yeah, there you go. In the... In the feats. That's it. Okay, so you can do it to one ally per short rest. Yes. So you can't do it to yourself then? Yeah. Okay, so pick one. But it's already a thing that's just kind of like there. I think it's like something specific with my Tinker's tools. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so ever... it's been on Alice Mander this whole time. I am yeah. under the assumption. If you if you have it on yourself, I can change my damage to piercing right now. What damage does your rifle do? Uh, all, all the guns do piercing. Yeah, it's like. It's right. shock, I mean, like, where does she have it set to? Like, is it just on me right now? Oh, like the actual uh, damage thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Are, are you using it on yourself right now? Yeah, yeah, it's always on myself, but it's like there's this is like a separate thing I think that I can do because it's like a lesser version of what I have. Oh, okay, okay. Because the um, one that I've got on the gun does damage, whereas this one doesn't. It just changes the damage type. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's coming back. To oh, me. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 All right. So, so yeah, yourself and one other ally. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Thunderstruck. Right. Roger. Roger. Yeah, All right, so it's like we have that yeah. resolved. Now we'll remember for the future. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Right. Wait, what is it? Yeah. I'm gonna go you to can go bed. to bed, Dorky, you can hop off, and then I think we're gonna... Uh, if you guys... We're probably gonna wrap up oh. this plant shit, because there's no point in, like, dragging it out a whole week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, okay. yeah. We'll have a good night. Right. Good night. Catch you guys night. next Bye. week, or else. Night. Here we go. Click, click. Hey, there you go. You set it up well. So, just right. Is that the uh, jar, by the way, Crash? Something like that, yeah. Probably a bit bigger. And has a cloth nice. lid so it can get air in. Uh, the one you guys have oh, does wait. not come with cloth lid. So you either have, like, that glass lid or you gotta go find something. <laughs> you guys could just go grab, like, a blanket and, like, rip it up. Yeah. Yeah, so. do that. Some string to hold it into place. And then make like a little belt loop out of it. Uh, be string you guys are providing because there's no no string around well, here. Shit. Right. Or you can make like an impromptu rope with the bed sheets. Something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, We're saying it's a just possible. real quick. Uh, 
does this look uh, kosher, th those last two damage rolls? Uh, the first one, or I guess second to here, here, let me just do a new attack. Yeah, I get you, I get you. So, uh, yeah. there's a good demand. Bomb. That for regular, and then this for Deadeye. That's critical. Which also critical. Uh, yeah, so I, I have think it set to that. I think uh, that'd be it. My, my personal caliber and then my Deadeye damage are, are both the regular piercing. Um, I would say this might be the inverse of it, where, yeah. um, because like if Anushka apply this to a gun that's not yours, the core components, the core damage type should be changing are the default gun ones, not the personal caliber ones or the Jedi ones. It should like took yeah, like a guard. That's what I'm saying. My, my my regular piercing that isn't changed at all is the personal caliber and the Jedi. Okay. Well, I'm no, I'm saying that that's the one that would be changed, the original ones. Because if she were to do it to like a guard's gun, the guard doesn't have Deadeye or personal caliber, so he he has to use one of those two d four initially to get changed. Whereas your personal caliber things are based out of you. Like there's nothing about a gunner that gives them lightning damage. There's nothing about Deadeye that right. gives lightning yeah, damage. Yeah, that, that's that's what I'm saying here. So uh, on the left is the two d four for the the base revolver, and that does lightning damage. Yes. And then yes. The right and then the right box. For like the the last damage I did, it's one d four for my personal caliber, one d four from dead eye, which does. Yes. And I have that set to do regular piercing damage. Okay, so okay, yeah, I got you. We're I on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the uh, to be perfectly honest, I read. I'm looking at this from a distance, and I can't see the words lightning or piercing from this distance. Oh, okay. So I yeah. just assumed the piercing was the left one. Yeah. Then, the piercing's uh, the right one. The left one is lightning. Piercing is the right one. Right. Uh, they look the then, fucking same at a distance, mostly because I can't read them at this distance. Let's Fair. see the the magic. Oh, uh, so uh, the the magic damage the plus two is on the lightning, uh, plus three yes. from weapon master. Can I put that on the piercing? You can put, you can put that on the piercing. Yeah. Hey, cool. Because again, that's intrinsic to you, not the gun. Cool, 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 cool. Pretty cool. Nice it's semantics, but I can totally see a scenario where something's vulnerable to lightning that it comes in uh, very, very notably. Yeah, but it's resolved now. Mission accomplished. Yes. All right, so let's do. So let's see here. You guys got sand. There's no difficulty in getting sand. Like literally none. Uh, you guys have a number of alchemical components. Uh, some of them are labeled. Some of them were labeled, but I've run rubbed off. Others were never labeled, or the label fell off entirely. So that that's a mystery. Mystery machine. And. Uh, let's see. You guys have water. There's water everywhere. I would not pure water. Yeah, and or you know how to non voidically it, corrupted water, which is another point. Like you, it, the the water is voidically corrupted. Like this whole zone is. So you guys also have to purify that water. Could you? Ah, uh, could you do like? Oh wait, the the sword does radiant damage. Is it possible to use that as like a? Stir it. Yeah, it sounds wrong. stupid as shit. But like. <laughs> Okay. It is radiant. Stupider it things have worked. Radiant. Oh, we could try it. Give, give it a try. Sure. Why not? You guys go get some water. You guys go get some sand. You guys have a fire going using some of the oh. firewood. Your eyes are literally at this fucking cauldron where there's literally men for cooking shit. You guys begin boiling water down, collecting the vapors, taking that, uh, taking that and stirring it with a crystal dragon horn sword that is radiant. What a weird thing to say. <laughs> uh, Sajar, I don't know how you take all this. You're making water, though, so that's good. Um, uh, who's doing this? Who's, who's using the sword? Uh, it's about Xander, but I'm not, you guys I mean, I'm not handing this to anyone. This is <laughs> random. It's shit. Fair enough. Uh, roll me your arcana or religion, your choice. Arcana it is. Sure. Guidance is on. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 18. 18. You begin like stirring this and cooking it and like purifying it, quote unquote, while the sword's radiancy is active. And similar to the plant upstairs, you can feel that sort of lack, this absence, this drain of energy recede. And moreover, it the water that is you're continuously stirring it uh, begins getting that sort of magical ozone, like sort of shock presence about it. 
um, as you are stirring it, if you ever like leave it on or how to say, if you ever pull the blade out, the feeling that purity, that radiancy begins to fade very rapidly. But as long as you leave the blade in it and active, which is say you have to keep your hand on, it, I think is right. that uh, I think the causation of the item. Uh, yeah, it's, it stays like imbued. Cool, cool, cool. So you guys have solved the water. Mission accomplished. You guys have solved the moonlight. Yay! Already done before we started. All you guys need now is soil, nutrients, and magic, technically. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you are, unless you guys are capable of thinking that that radiancy in that water is already magic. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's uh, holy sunlight in that baby. Mm -hmm. But so much holiness in this bad boy. Uh, I'm, I was thinking there is fertilizer, but it's stale. What if we add the fertilizer to the water? Make like a shit mix of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mud cake, mud cake. <laughs> make make some holy shit. If you guys want, infuse the nutrients in the water. Yeah, I, I think uh, well. I think it might be the key. You pour in the semi-desiccated, semi-corrupted fertilizer into the water. That was the other bit. Everything in this place is corrupted, including the shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but if you guys put it in the uh, holy gumbo, as I will refer to it as, reading that comment <laughs> on gumbo. gumbo. Uh, <laughs> you guys put it in the holy gumbo, <laughs> making the holy trinity of sovereign cuisine. No, I was kidding. Um, there is a holy trinity to sovereign cuisine. It's uh, celery, onions, and carrots. Um, those mud dragon scales in water. It's like, it's <laughs> yeah, that's, it must salt. be a different, it must be a different place in the so far. Uh, was it soy sauce, vinegar, and sugar? Yes. Mm, and then delicious. I know Japanese cuisine also sometimes use mirin, stuff like that. Anyways, um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so you guys now have a uh, holy gumbo. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I will say, Kasai isn't trained in. Uh, alchemist supplies, but she would want to help by trying to maybe add some of these alchemical components to this concoction you guys are going. Uh, the question is, can she identify any of them? Uh, I guess it'd just be straight intelligence. I do medicine, I think, uh, sort of nature. I'll do nature. It's a lower mod. Ugh. Anyone Ugh. have inspiration? Ugh. Ugh. It's not the... Oh. No, Wait a minute! Anymore. You gave death. everyone inspiration, including oh yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I get one inspiration across all the NPCs. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me check something. Let me check a thing. Maybe, maybe. No, poor, poor Delvin didn't have alchemy supplies. Oof. I'll give her one brutal. Because surely amongst all that's happening, someone could help her with it. Okay. Hey. Uh, she doesn't know what it does, but there is, to according to her, a um, what's no not potion poultice, a poultice like a rub, like a salve that's in here. Uh, that she says she doesn't know what it does. But whatever it is, it's meant to affect the arcane. Either as some sort of imbuement of it, a barrier against it. She doesn't know. So, would you guys want her to add that to this uh, holy gumbo? Uh, if I were to make an arcana roll, could I tell if there is anything intrinsically magic about it? It is magic. Uh, you don't need to make a roll for that. Like she's able to do, uh, deduce that. It is magic. It's just that she doesn't know what it does. Maybe you could narrow that down, see if it's meant to help or hinder. Okay. Uh, Alessandra and Kanan, what either both of you are Arcana or one of you have advantage? You guys both pitch uh, I will it. help. Okay, I'll roll Arcana with advantage. Really? Arcana, I mean. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Hey, that's, that's not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Whew. Whatever this is, it is uh, interactive. Uh, uh, what's the word? Semi-repulsive, semi-inductive. Uh, 
absorbent, absorbative of m raw magical energy. So, like, if you shot it right now, it would absorb some of it. And it would shunt the rest of it to a certain degree. Depends on how like potent you shot at it, how much is there, etc., etc., etc. So it'd be a hindrance. Uh, sort of, potentially. Uh, de how to say? When it absorbs it, it does hold on to that energy. Oh, okay. Like it doesn't disperse it like a ceramic plate would disperse its force when it gets shot by a okay. bullet. Like it holds on to it. That, that's what I thought of when you said shunt. If the plant It does do could... some of that as well. Yeah. It, it does repulse it... some of it and it eats some of it. Okay. And if it gets overflown and thing. it gets uh on the amount it can shunt and the amount it can absorb, it goes through. Okay. Here's the interesting part. If the plant can ingest that and maybe take on that quality. <laughs> It could potentially increase the amount of of uh, magic and nutrients it can feed or eat. So maybe if instead of putting it in the soup, if we the gumbo, Just... <laughs> if we <laughs> applied it to its roots, maybe. Unless it's been corrupted by voidic influence, in which, in which case, case I would need to go in the soup. Yeah. Yeah. Got soups and slugs. Which if. Soups and slugs. <laughs> it, it probably not the corrupted. The if no, no, I'm not doing that. Too mean. Ah, <laughs> it's good. But... I, I was able to tell that it is magical, so it's not. It, it doesn't seem corrupted. Mm. It's giving off that that magical energy, as opposed to that sort of lack thereof. Um, Mr. Alexander, uh, Captain, yeah, Captain Alexander. What is if it? we're going to hit the plant with this moonlight anyways moonlight's also holy we could try hitting this like if it's corrupted it. it's purified and if it can hold magic it'll hold some moonlight some holy energy now you think it's like an officer you hear that keenan sure do I reckon uh keenan well. roll insight <laughs> You said oh. roll perception. Did you hear it? <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh damn! Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Oh yeah, roll, roll that guidance too. Why don't you? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah no! So close from free G thirty. Ah, well, that's fine. It wouldn't, it wouldn't do too much. Um, you do see Delva get a look of uh, pleasant surprise when he addresses you as Keenan and not, I don't know, a different name that isn't yours. <laughs> so, you know, he's happy. So, you guys got this uh, <laughs> arcane uh, wet robe. You guys got the holy gumbo. <laughs> All you gotta do <laughs> left is lather the plants. <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> Fire it up. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a weird, what a weird thing. This is a very weird session. <laughs> Maybe that's I, love, session I wouldn't have it any other gumbo. way. It's like there, there's like occasional dashes of like kind of more serious D and D stuff, and then I'm gonna talk to the slug. We're gonna make a holy gumbo. <laughs> I'm gonna look in this like like wall. wall. I think that's it's the, the truly the. I think the banality of the evil here is really like the more spooky part of it. Yeah, <laughs> to me absolutely. at least. Yeah. We should ask. We're gone from debating the morality of sacrificing souls to a, to an urn to holy gumbo. <laughs> Whatever works. It's all gonna go back it's to cool. I love it. Whip, whip flash style. Go back to being serious next session when we actually have to leave this place. Oh my god. Yeah. Um. <laughs> remember how I told you guys? Like, what, if you guys can democratically decide who would die, that might be what happens when you guys run down that segment. If you guys run down that segment, if you guys fail enough, I will tell you, one of you is dying. Decide who of you it is. Mm -hmm. If you guys fail that run enough, Are it will be a skill challenge sort way? of thing. So you guys. Uh, if you guys aren't going that way, then you're fucking fine. But uh, nonetheless, the uh, principal plot is a skill challenge. Accrue three failures, you lose. <laughs> uh, how many successes you, you need to, to get to that is... Uh, I'm not saying the number yet. Oh my god, I can't believe Alessandra's going to die for you guys. Shall we fire up the, the gumbo? Absolutely. It's hot and ready. We'll mark down a spell slot and hit the moonbeam. <laughs> Whee! So, you guys all head upstairs. 
Just a flower. There's the description we needed. All right. All right. All right. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Roll me uh, your spellcasting attribute, add your proficiency as well. That basically perform as if you're doing a spellcast attack. Uh, you get advantage. Nice. By virtue of uh, the um, cultist. Amongst other things. Uh, 1d20 plus. Spellcasting is wisdom. is 5 plus proficiency, oh, did you say? And any uh, spellcasting modifier things you have. Like, if you have, like, a plus one to DC or attack mod or whatever, that's what Right, right, right. Uh, spell attack bonus is nine. You can just use plus nine, then. And I get advantage. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes. Oh. 15 plus nine. 15 plus 9, that makes it a smooth even 24. Oh my god, the first one was a fucking 2. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sheesh! 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 Hey, hey, here's something else. Here's something else I got for you. I got for you. What god does Keenan serve? If he serves only one. <laughs> Just wondering. Uh, yes. Uh, I believe this said a philosaur, the... Um... Transition between life and death. Isn't that funny? Add a d4. <laughs> <laughs> break 25, come on. Or you Easy. literally can't not break 25. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say you always make 25. <laughs> <laughs> no, he could match 25, which isn't good. That was the last roll I was really caring about. You guys have sort of been doing skill challenges this entire time, we just haven't really talked about it and codified it. You guys front loaded all the rolls necessary. Now you get to reap the benefits. As you guys all go upstairs and begin going to this, you know, swaying sort of lo uh, large, pale blue chrysanthemum-esque flower that's as tall as two of you put together, which two, who knows. The side takes the poultice and very, how to say, ritualistically, very ceremoniously begins, like, dotting or uh, drawing lines with this poultice across the plant and its leaves and its vines and its main stem area once she's done she just nods at you guys you guys begin to take the holy gumbo of purified fertilizers and uh well imbued water and begin to sort of slosh it predominantly on the segment where it's growing out from in the center of the lantern room, but also around to the various parts of where the moss is growing, the vines, and so on like that. And then all that's left as it's sort of like sit, sitting, quote unquote, standing more upright, begins like sort of like awakening, is a moonbeam meant not to hurt, but to heal. You shoot into it, and it takes on this very bright, almost flashbang-esque glow for a second. And you could see, those of you that could peer through the brightness could see that the spots which were marked by the poultice take this, uh, similar as its petals, pale blue color, maybe a bit more neon-esque as it uh, glows brighter and brighter. And then when everything's said and done, uh, first off, your guys' presence is definitely known now, but point <laughs> more, the more important point Point number two, you guys see this flower, which its main stem actually has shrunken back into the ground a bit, so it looks a bit more, like, at your high, height level, if that makes sense. Like, instead of, like, this, like, seven, eight-foot-long stem, it's sunken it down to, like, only, like, two or three or four feet. So the much of the flower head itself is much more on your guys' level. The moss has actually sort of scattered immensely and, sh like, sort of grown all around the top of this place and down the stairway as well, down the ladder. Uh, and some of the vines are accompanying it, as it's sort of now this... Uh, well, it was a flower on top of the lighthouse before. Now it definitely looks like a flower on top of the lighthouse now. It's a greenhouse on the top of the lighthouse. Damn. And it just sort of is there. It has a sort of pulsing, glowing white energy across its petals. Just... It does not shoot you, so go you. It does not think you are trespassers, so you have that going for you. Um, it does lift one of its vines 
Um, this is one that was been dotted and decorated by the um, Arcane Poultice, which actually has left marks on it. Not out of like some sort of burn or, or anything like that. It's like uh, it looks like it's sort of evolved Pokemon style. Oh. Um, it holds up one of its vines, like sort of like you know how like snake charmers can like you know keep snakes in that sort of like wavering position in front of them. It's sort of like that. This vine just sort of goes up and waits for one of you, or any of you, all of you. I don't know. Uh, I'll walk up to it. Um, join it begins. Uh, you join it? Join? Yeah, join. Anyone else? Let's hold hands. Uh. Anyone else? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. You're holding a voidic entity in a jar. Yeah, just ah. a reminder. <laughs> well, it hasn't attacked her yet. I... It hasn't. Yeah. I, I look down at Hafrin to see if they're just like shaking their slug head. No, like, don't, no, no, stay. It's just her watching Ooh. this whole time. Like, it's a very it's weird awesome. show. <laughs> yeah, it's having a seizure from the flashbang. Ah. I was um, only mentioning it in case you forgot. <laughs> no, I remembered. It's just... I don't... I'll hang back. If, if Blair is going to hang back, then I'll just hang back with Blair. Yeah, Blair might think this thing is all cool and stuff, but that doesn't mean she's going to shake its hand. <laughs> don't trust that shit. Saiwa, though. Uh, Delvid is a bit hesitant about it, so he'll also stay back. Uh, America would go up to it. And Voss is key, still down. Like you, while you guys are all upstairs, he's just like, "Got to stand Not me. Door. Don't care. I'll stay on the ground. Let me know if anything cool comes from it, though." <laughs> I'll show so you guys. You guys, to plant. Neat. you guys go up to it, and as more of you come up to it, more vines, also ones decorated, begin going up. Uh, I'm assuming Alora doesn't go. Uh, does Manon? Um, it's a good question. Oh, we don't know if Anushka would. I don't think she would.